Okay, the tool that we're going to learn today is the 3D Revolve and the 3D Extrude and Bevel. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a shape. I'm going to go ahead and just select my circle shape here. And I'm going to create a circle. And I'm going to go into Effects. And I'm going to go into Revolve. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my preview here. Okay. And if you rotate this, you'll be able to see kind of this rotation here. You notice it almost creates like an apple effect. And then there's all these different settings where you could change. If you were to change these settings, it basically change here. And then here you can change the angle. And you'll notice that it starts kind of like cutting into that apple. You can grow it and you can go the other direction. Okay, and it shortens it. Okay. And then you can do the um, offset. If that changes it also. Okay. <clears throat> and then the other thing that you'll notice is that this we have this plastic shading and that gives us this little highlight effect so that we know that it's more like shiny. If you do diffuse shading, it doesn't give you that effect. Okay. I'm gonna go to plastic shading here. Alright, and then I'm gonna just hit okay. And that's your 3D revolve. All right. A lot of people like this because it says, whoa, it does all the three-dimensional effects and stuff. Well, I'm going to make my apple like this, but then they don't have um, other objects on their uh, composition that match this. And then it becomes kind of like where this is the only object that looks really 3D realistic and then all the other ones um, pale in comparison. So what you want to be sure is that if you're going to do that, you're going to need to create the other objects with just as much um, uh, 3D three-dimensionality okay all right now we're gonna do um, the bevel and extrude I'm gonna just create a shape here and I'm gonna do 3d extrude and bevel and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my preview and then you'll notice if I rotate this these numbers are changing here you could do it either way what I like about this tool is that it um, allows you to see the different colors, like the lighter, the darker, and then the darkest color that create kind of this three-dimensionality. Um, it's, it's nice because it shows you that within just color and the right lines, you can show that something is three-dimensional in a composition. Okay, so these are nice for like if you were creating buildings and, and you weren't quite sure or a table on how to do it, you could try to um, use something like this to give you that effect. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and position this here. Now there's different, there's the cap, and that kind of like creates it like an open box kind of feeling, even the bottom's open. I'm going to go and return that back. And if you do extrude depth, that's going to change that uh, height, the um, depth of the of the cube here. All right, and then you can change the bevel, and these will change kind of like the little angles here. This is affecting those types of things here, like this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring it back to the normal one. All right, and then I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. And what you'll notice is that if I were to turn this here, it actually changes the proportions of this. Or if I was to grow this, it still continues to change the proportions of this. All right, so if you don't want that to happen, what you have to do is expand the appearance. I'm going to go ahead and go Object, Expand. And if for some reason all you needed was this plane here and you didn't need the whole thing, by default the way, once you expand the ex appearance on this, um, the way that these work is that they're all connected, they're grouped in one. So if you select one, you're actually selecting all of them. So you would need to right click or control click on a Mac and do ungroup. And if you click off and you go back to it, sometimes it doesn't ungroup it. See how it's still connected? You have to maybe do an ungroup again. And then if that happens, let's see. Oh, now it works. So if you needed this plane for something, you need this plane for something else, and this one for something else, you could always do that, okay? Okay, this pretty much covers the Extrude and Bevel and the 3D Revolve tool. If you have any questions, I led at hawaii.edu or 808-343-9565.